Juniper Swim and Fitness held a boat race today, but not with normal sized boats nor captains. Noah Chass joins us now with more on today's sports report. This competition required not only skill, but smarts. Maybe being a little bit smaller could help too. The Trinity Lutheran sixth graders held their boat race regatta Monday afternoon. As part of the class engineering project, the students created a boat capable of holding themselves and a partner made out of only cardboard and duct tape. For many, the results are what you'd expect, a lot of uh, captains going down with the ship. But a surprising amount did float and even made it to the championship round. I caught up with the school's science teacher and the winning duo to find out their secret to success. Lots of thinking and taping and we did multiple layers and lots of tape. So we mostly yeah. put tape on the, on the bottom of it so it was waterproof because somebody ran it underwater, ran it underwater to check if it actually was waterproof and it was, so it worked. I think today was awesome. I was surprised at the boats that floated. Um, I didn't know that all of them would float, um, but it, most of them made it. Um, so I think that was exciting for me and them to see. Winning's the most fun, but how much fun was it just to get your boat in the water and see it do well. Uh, really fun. <laughs> really fun. Awesome. Were you expecting to win? I'm not sure. Not exactly. <laughs> no. While Grace and Lillian did not predict their triumph, they certainly put in the work to get them there. Elisa Jeffries says the best part for her as a teacher was seeing all of the classmates eager to help each other. 